We certainly can't say we don't have anything to talk about or write about. Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net, Richmond, Richmond International Raceway, and the Richmond 400. A lot of questions in my mind and in the minds of a lot of these 88,000 people that were here tonight for the Richmond 400 watching Kyle Busch win. He was surprised. We were too. It was Tony Stewart and Jimmy Johnson and Carl Edwards, the three men to beat all night. And they all got beat by penalties. Jimmy Johnson, pit road, loose tires. He accepted it, made mistakes, cost him the race. Tony Stewart leading, 14 laps to go, pulling away. And then a couple of plastic bottles on the track or some kind of debris, not sure what it was. He was not very happy. He said he'd been sitting out there for a long time and they probably could have gone without throwing a caution flag if they wanted to, but they threw a caution flag. He goes down pit road, his pit crew doesn't do a very good job. Kyle comes out ahead of him, beats him on the restart when he spins his tires and Kyle goes on to win beating Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now, Kale, now Kyle and Dale had a pretty good history here a while back. I'm thinking that, hey, maybe these last few laps will have something. No such luck. Kyle was gone. And Jr. came up five lengths short. But the story, Carl Edwards. He dominated the race, trying to dispel all those complaints about, oh, you're just not have any fire in the belly this year. He was dominant, the man to beat, and he got beat. But how did he get beat? I'm still scratching my head over that. I want to see the replays. He said they told him he was the leader on a restart with Tony on the inside. And then they said he jumped the start. He was confused about that. I was confused about that. A lot of people were confused about that. Tony said, no question. I was the leader of the race. I don't know what Carl was thinking about. Carl said NASCAR told him he was the leader. And then they argued. He got black flagged, a pass through, the rear of the field, lost the race. Went to the NASCAR trailer afterwards and didn't come out a happy guy either. Not that they could change a decision, not that they could change a decision like that after the race, but my mind says, who was the leader right then? We asked Kyle Busch. He says between all the wave arounds, I'm not even sure what a wave around is anymore, and the lucky dog, and who did get the lucky dog? Was it Kyle or was it Tony? Kyle wasn't even sure himself. He said, well, all the stuff that was going on right then, he's really not sure what happened. Heck of a way to run a race. I don't know. I'm going to go back and look at the replays on these things and see if I can sort things out. But the trouble is, everybody else has had to go home for a live telecast and a live broadcast and a live show. I'm still leaving this place with a lot of question marks. Could have been done better, but Kyle Busch is the winner. Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net, Richmond, the Richmond 400.